In my lifetime, I've swum more than 10,000 miles. That's like swimming from New York City to Cape Town, South Africa, and nearly half the circumference of the Earth. I swam 643,000 laps and took over 9.7 million strokes in 16 different countries. I swam from Asia to Europe in my first cross-continental swim, and I went through way too many swim caps, swimsuits, and goggles to even count. And I got to swim with the most incredible human beings all over the world. I'm gonna show you what I learned over the last 10,000 miles of swimming and share some wisdom after logging so many miles in the water. Let's dive in. A few years ago, I attempted to swim 100,000 meters in 30 days and failed. I wasn't ready, I didn't have the foundation, and my body just couldn't handle that volume of swimming. At first, we give it our all, and if we fail, we try again. And that's exactly what I did. I refocused with a new game plan and tried the 100,000 meter challenge again one year later to not only succeed with your support, but to also raise thousands of dollars for the Movember Foundation. I wanted to see how far I could push my body, so I swam one mile every day for 100 days straight. Swim, eat, sleep, repeat. And let me tell you, doing anything for 100 days straight, nonstop, is going to change your body. Swimming is one of the best things anyone can do for their fitness. It's low impact, you work every single muscle group, it's refreshing, it's fun, and you can do it every single day for the rest of your life. They don't call it the fountain of youth for nothing. But it wasn't all smooth swimming because about a year ago, I hurt my lower back and I was out of the water for two full months. I couldn't work out at all, and because I was barely moving, I lost almost 20 pounds of muscle. It took me a full year to recover and swim without any pain. But here's the thing I learned about swimming and the human body. It's amazing. We can get broken down and feel terrible, but if you can stay consistent, if you can consistently improve, hold a positive mindset, and surround ourselves with people who will support us, you can make incredible progress faster than you would ever believe. And since returning to the pool after that back injury, I'm swimming almost every day, and I've made some of the biggest gains in the water and in the weight room. After 10,000 miles of swimming, I have an incredible feel of the water, supreme breath control, and a huge aerobic foundation that gives me insane endurance in the water. And through this journey, I've learned to actually enjoy it. Swimming isn't a destination, it's a journey. I mean, sure, if you're out in the open water, there's clearly a destination, but when you zoom out, each workout is just a molecule of water in the sea of a swimming career that lasts a lifetime. I wanna swim fast, I wanna feel amazing in the water, but some days it just doesn't happen and that's okay because it's all part of the journey. Embrace the days that you don't feel like getting in the pool and be grateful for the opportunity. Because if you only focus on a specific destination, you miss out on all the magical moments that happen day by day, set by set, and stroke by stroke. When I was fixated on a specific race, set, or workout, it just made me feel anxious. It's exhausting to go from event to event in what seems to be an endless circuit of benchmarks. The good news is you don't have to do that to enjoy swimming. I do believe it's good to set goals, specifically SMART goals. These are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound, but don't let it consume your life. I still set SMART goals and go to competitions, but instead of thinking about them as the end-all, be-all of swimming, they're goalposts to look forward to sort of like chapters in your own swimming book. The goal is to create an amazing book with so many chapters filled with amazing stories. By the way, this is a good opportunity to mention my book, Swim Like a Pro, and it'll be linked down below the like button. And while you're down there, let me know why you swim in the comments. Because after swimming 10,000 miles, I've done some self-reflection. Know why you swim. I swim because I feel alive when I'm in the water. It's the feeling of weightlessness that you can't get anywhere else because I know that when I swim, I become the best version of myself and I can inspire those around me to do the same. Let me know why you swim. Over the last two decades, I've met so many incredible people through swimming, from coaches to teammates to swim fans and everyone in between. It's become very clear that swimmers are awesome. We are all so different yet so similar. 
regardless of where you're from, what language you speak, the color of your skin, or what your skill level is, we are united by one thing, the water. The water is the great equalizer. So whether your goal is to go a best time in the 100 meter freestyle, or you wanna feel confident enough to go snorkeling with the fish, we are all united by the water. It brings us all together and this is our community. This is our swim tribe. And speaking of swim tribe, this is an opportunity for you to join this amazing community by becoming a channel swim fan, swim pro, or swim VIP. More info by clicking on the join right next to the subscribe button of this video. One of the things that I've learned after swimming 10,000 miles is that you can always be better. With swimming, I like to call it unlimited potential. There's so many things that you can improve on regardless of what your current ability is or what your goals are. You can always improve your technique, your breath control, feel of the water, and of course, speed. No matter how fast you are, there's always room to get better. Even if it's just 1%, do that every day, every week, and you're gonna see the massive gains over time. And remember that the human body is incredible. There's a reason every world record in swimming is rebroken every few years. There's a reason so many people start to swim as adults, and there's a reason you too can improve. That's why I created the My Swim Pro app, because I truly believe that everyone can benefit from having a guided workout at a fraction of the cost of hiring a personal swim coach. So if you want a personalized workout and you're ready to take your swimming to the next level, you gotta check out the My Swim Pro app available for iPhone and Android. And even if you don't want to improve, you just want to swim back and forth, that's fine because there really isn't anything like swimming. Swimming teaches us delayed gratification. It's the ability to delay an immediate reward for a favorable one in the future. You put in the work today knowing that you're not gonna see any results tomorrow, but you have a belief in the process that you can stay consistent, make those small improvements, and the results will follow in the future. This is why you jump in the freezing pool at 6 a.m. It's why you hit the weight room with that insane level of intensity and why you push your body and your mind to the absolute max. The height of your success is limited only by your conviction to improve. You're not chasing perfection, you're looking for progress. And little by little, you start to see the results. And sometimes, it gets boring. I mean, come on, swimming back and forth is monotonous. But you enjoy the process and you set smart goals and you remember to pursue the journey, not the destination. And if you want to explore other sports, go for it. Over the last 10,000 miles of swimming, I've done five triathlons, I tried CrossFit, played water polo, and a whole bunch of other activities in and around the water. But at the end of the day, I come back to the pool and I swim. 10,000 miles is a lot of swimming, and I'm still going. If you wanna see what happened to my body after swimming 1,000 days, watch this video over here. I'll see you over there, and happy swimming.